Have you ever wanted to rip your CDs? Or do you already have some rips and need a way to easily fix all the metadata? Good, then in today's video, I'll show you my process from going from the CD all the way to the file that has all needed data embedded within it. If you are interested in my process for DVDs and Blu-rays, then you can check out this video right here. First up is the hardware I'll be using. Since many modern systems come without a CD drive, I found that the best and cheapest options is to get an internal laptop CD drive and a slimline SATA to USB cable. You can't find them often either used or as new spare parts for much less than a regular external CD drive. It might not look as nice, but it works just as well. Be aware that you could also use a regular 3.5 inch drive, but those often need an adapter that provides additional power. So let's get to ripping. There are many pieces of software that will do the job just nicely with all kinds of features such as automatic database lookup. To name just a few, on Mac there's iTunes, on Windows there's Windows Media Player or Exact Audio Copy. And last on Linux there's Whipper or what I'll be using today, a Sonder CD Ripper. Of course there exist many more, but naming them all would be a waste of time. So getting to a Sonder, as soon as you put in the CD, it will start reading it and fetches some of the metadata from your database of choice. I've been using GNUDB and never had problems with it. I then under general set the folder where the ripped files will be and uncheck M3U playlist, since I don't use that feature. You can then also set the file names, but I left it on the default number dash title scheme. Last comes the encoding. All you need to do here is check which files you want and its quality. Me personally, I only use FLAC at compression level zero. All that is left to do now is click on rip and wait for it to finish. At this point you could also call it quits, but I like to go the extra mile and adjust some of the metadata and embed the CD cover into the file itself. Why would I do that, you might now ask. Well, it's very simple. Some of the software fetches the CD cover online and some see if there's a file named cover in the same folder, but this has never worked reliably for me. Embedding the cover into the file itself, however, has never caused me any trouble. And when it comes to metadata, there's a similar problem. Some players like FUBAR2K have the tendencies to split albums by artists. So as an example, soundtracks that have many featuring artists would sometimes just have the same album 30 times show up, however each one only has one song inside. Or another case is with multi-CD albums. I prefer to have one album show up with like 60 songs inside instead of four albums that are then titled CD1, CD2, CD3, etc. So to solve that problem, I use one of my favorite pieces of software, which is called Music Brains Picard. Music Brains Picard is available on all common and some uncommon operating systems. Using it is really simple. All you need to do is drag your music files into the left side, highlight them and click on lookup. Next you can see that Music Brains Picard is slowly searching for the CD and is moving your songs from the left into the found CD on the right. Sometimes it can't populate all songs. This can be for various reasons, but I found it has often to do with the track just having a very generic name that many other bands use. Fixing this is really easy, however. You can just select the songs and drag them onto the CD, and it figures it out from there. Or in some very rare cases, you have to drag the song from the left onto the correct song on the right. At the bottom, you can now see all the old and all the new details. If you want to, you can change those details or even add a local cover. In this demonstration, I however just switch between the various versions that Music Brains has in their database and choose the one that I like the most. This can be very helpful for albums that have different bonus tracks based on regions where they were sold. Anyways, all you need to do now is select the CD on the right and hit save and you can see how it pretty much immediately updated my files with all the information. I have never done it but you could just drag in your entire library at once and have everything updated in one swoop. That's about it. It's really simple and takes barely any effort. I always do this when I get a new CD or get some files from various places, like for an example Bandcamp. And with that, the only thing that's left is to subscribe. Goodbye.